We were just showing how to do buttonholes on the Singer Confidence Quilter model 7469Q, but now it's time to actually learn how to stitch the buttons on. And there is a built-in stitch, stitch number 10, that we can use to sew buttons on. And in our Stitching Cosmos online course, we actually incorporate sewing buttons on with tassels underneath them. So if being a little bit more creative with your machine and your decorative stitches is something that is of interest, to you, make sure you check out the links below to our Stitching Cosmos online course. Now, I mentioned buttonholes were the last thing we did, so I'm going to slide the little lever up that was put doing the size that we needed, and then I'm going to take the buttonhole foot off. So the button we were doing is actually what I have in the foot, so it knew what size to do that buttonhole for. See how perfect it turned out? But now, I want to actually stitch it down. So stitch number 10, so we can just go up to our numbers. Stitch number 10 is just going to be a zigzag back and forth. And since our quilting accessories came with an open toe foot, I am going to use that so I can see how to line up, that I can see that my holes are exactly where they need to be underneath the needle. But the last thing I want to do is actually lower the feed dogs. And that just helps, I mean, they're not going to go anywhere. This stitch is just designed to go back and forth, but those teeth kind of move up and down even if they're not pulling the fabric through. So by lowering them, you get them completely out of the way. So slide the accessory box off, reach behind the machine. Remember you need to actually push down on that lever to move it to the side. So it's kind of a, a down and over, and then when we bring it back, it's kind of a down and back over to bring them back into position. And just a reminder that when I do slide them back, which I actually did, they don't pop up at the end until you take a stitch. So that's just a little helpful reminder. So I am gonna push down and to the right, and then that way Way you can uh, no, see how easy this is. I've taken my foot off and I'm replacing it with the open toe foot. Now, how does the machine know to what stitch width to stitch this particular kind of zigzag for these holes? So that's kind of a trick question because all buttons, like 99% of them, have the same width of hole space. So as you can see right now, the needle is lined up kind of over on the left side. So I'm going to start by just bringing the needle down into the left hole by hand until it is holding it. And I'm going to do the front two holes first since this is a four hole buttonhole and then lower the presser foot down. Now you can see why I chose the open toe foot since it came with this machine. It makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to hand turn my hand wheel and do you see that it just naturally went that particular distance? Now there are some buttons that are going to be a little wider or a little narrower and you can adjust that for um, on the front of the machine with the stitch width. But all in all, all we have to do is just stitch until we have the right amount of stitches. So if you want a lot or a little, uh, once you are done, you can just lift the presser foot up. Now, since this is four holes, I'm going to just once again, bring that needle down un into the hole that is right above on this time. When I stopped, the needle was still on the left side. And then I'm gonna just test the swing of the needle one more time and stitch the same similar amount. So if you wanna count, you know, 12 stitches, 10 stitches, that would be one way to do it. But that sure is a lot faster than sewing any button on by hand. So check out your stitch 10, give it a try, find a random button, and stitch it on some fabric, and see how easy that is. So check out all of our videos, including how to do a buttonhole, uh, uh, with the links below. The Stinger Confidence Quilter, we have a ton of videos that we're doing, pretty much one video on every page of the manual.